Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, it's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas here, and uh, it's, which is quite good because you know what I want for Christmas? I want a new set of rechargeable batteries because uh, I, d I did this uh, tasting of all these five Chardonnays which I have in front of me. You'll see there's a little bit gone from each of the bottles. Uh, and then I went to check my camera afterwards doing thumbs up, I finished, and uh, for some reason it had stopped. So I've just thrown a particularly recalcitrant set of batteries away which had just come out of the battery charger. Ah, moan! Uh, anyway, um, so I'm going to do it. I'll do them all again. Uh, and I quite enjoyed them the first time around, so I'm not too bothered about that. So uh, anyway, the, the, I've got them all organised in alcohol order. Uh, and I was saying on the first video, which you're never going to see, and I'm never going to see, um, that to once upon a time, if I'd done that, the Australians would have been last. Now they are first. I mean, it's not like the range of alcohol across these uh, four wine, five wines stroke four countries is vast but um, uh, the, they start at 12 and a half and work up to 13 and a half but it's the Aussies that are first rather than last. So first wine is Sean Smith M3 Chardonnay uh, from the Adelaide Hills in South Australia. And interesting tasting them about um, a quarter of an hour after I first tasted them or smelling it. Um, it's um, when I when I first opened it, it was it was quite tense and uh, um, it, and it's it's slowly uncurled in the glass. Um, now it's uh, it's a little bit uh, warmer. It's come, they've come out of a coolish cellar, and um, it's all the better for it. Uh, before what was happening is uh, you could feel the uh, aristocratic, uh, the cheekbones coming through in the wine, uh, but now you can see some of the flavour coming through as well. Um, so there's this um, uh, slightly warm apple flavour, uh, there's citrus in there, and there's a touch of um, yeah, light nuttiness, uh, but there's also something that is, uh, feels to be soil related, something uh, stony about it that, uh, that is rather attractive. And very attractive wine it is. Um, one of the problems with uh, quite a lot of um, uh, modern style Australian Chardonnays in the effort to get these lower alcohol and keep the acidity a lot of people in warmer areas are picking their grapes before the flavours are fully ripe so yes you get the structure but you don't get the developed flavours but here it feels like there is flavour development at this lower alcohol level and um, that was a bit technical wasn't it um, but in terms of pleasure this gives you pleasure it still feels like there's a tension and a tightness there that uh, uh, that needs to uh, fully resolve itself. Almost a white wine at this stage of its life where, that I want to decant um, and um, uh, yeah, and, and let it let it have a, have a chance to to open up. Uh, but as it is, it's opening up rather nicely. The flavours I have in my mouth, uh, there's this nice mixture of roundness, uh, roundness of flavour uh, and tension of structure. So almost a wine that you can go. Bing! and it twangs like a like a harp string um, and um, very nice it is too mm, like that uh, so the next one uh, so this is um, McGuigan the shortlist also in the Adelaide Hills uh, but uh, two years older so this is 2011 and um, at half a degree higher in alcohol 13% let's give this one a whirl well, a couple of things. It's two years older, uh, so there's a richer, rounder, more honeyed flavour. Uh, some verging on that slight honeysuckle edge. Uh, I think also that the fruit here doesn't maybe have that twangy tension that was in the first one. It feels like it's going to have some crispness about it. Um, so, um, uh, yeah, on that uh, uh, ripe lemon side and, uh, and again the apple. But doesn't feel maybe as quite as um, fine-boned as the previous one. And yes, good, but dot dot dot. Um, I it feels a, a little bit more old-fashioned is the wrong word, but uh, more in common with the Chardonnays of yesterday rather than the Chardonnays of, of today. Um, so there's this peachy, uh, ever so slight oily pineapple, and just to get yeah, that very ripe pineapple, but fresh pineapple rather than uh, the pineapple chunk. Uh, and in terms of the acidity. Uh, I'm just wondering here whether um, it, it, how natural all of it is. There's just something on the finish that it's a little bit hard. Uh, that um, uh, for, particularly for a wine that's uh, that's that, that, that's this old, you'd think something like that would have resolved itself. Um, and I mean, I like it, uh, but and I would certainly proffer my glass for a refill. But um, yeah, I, I think it's just that it, 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 it was preceded by a better wine. It's good, but. Let's pour that one out and uh, try the next one, which is uh, Le Latour, uh, Bone. Uh, so we're going up to, these the last three are all 13.5% alcohol. Uh, Le Latour, 2012, Bone. Give it a whirl. 
Well, it's between the uh, previous two in age, and it feels uh, that it's got a freshness more in common with the um, uh, with the Sean Smith one. Um, also feels like there's a ever so slight vegetal character, but nice vegetal, that, that sort of um, benevolent cabbage. Does that make sense? Does to me. Um, and... Um, so there's a yes, there's a there's a hint of creaminess here, uh, but it's mo mostly on that uh, uh, sleeker citrus edge that uh, that I notice. And that creamy edge um, gets gets more prominent as as you as you you taste it as, and as it as it warms up in the glass. Um, uh, and so I like the tension, I like the creaminess, I like the um, yeah that that uh, the citrus and uh, green apple uh, edge and that vegetal note. It's um, I don't know what it is about the Sean Smith that uh, makes it stand up. It just feels that that one just feels a little bit more um, uh, uh, tense and stony. Here, the flavours are maybe just a little bit more simple. I mean, they, they, there's some nice flavours, um, uh, but um, I mean, I, 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 I think I just about prefer this to the uh, um, to the to the McGuigan. But um, yeah, it's 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 good um, rather than great, um, and. Um, it's it's good. I guess it's one of those. I, I yes, I would definitely proffer my glass, and I would probably proffer it a second time for a refill, a small refill. You understand? Uh, but um, yes, it's the second out of the three so far. Uh, one number four, Richard's Elgin Chardonnay, two thousand and thirteen, from South Africa. The Richard in question is uh, Richard Kershaw, uh, who has his own uh, own wine label, Richard Kershaw Wines. But this is a wine that he makes for Naked Wines. So let's give this one a whirl. A lovely mixture of coolness and richness. So it feels like there's sometimes you, you're in parts of South Africa and there's this cool... Um, in, the, in the south of France you, you have this stuff, the, the Garrigue. That, um, that that you often find this uh, the, the bay the thyme uh, and uh, things like that that, that um, the aromas often make their way into the wines here there's something of that South African it's called fimbos there's something of that in the air here uh, there's a floral edge uh, there's a fruity edge there's the um, Again, apple and citrus. I keep waffling on about apple and citrus. It's uh, there are there are differences between different types of apple and different types of citrus. But here, um, it's more about that. Um, there's a cool freshness, um, and it's a different type of freshness from the uh, uh, what was in the the, the the Sean Smith. Here, it feels uh, maybe if this 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 feels more of the uh, aromas in the air. Uh, maybe the Sean Smith is something more soil related. Does that make sense? Probably not. When you come to taste it, it's actually quite rich and plump, uh, but uh, with the freshness and the backbone to uh, to hold it all together, it's definitely a wine to drink after the Sean Smith. And I know that there'll be some people who prefer this uh, heavier, heavy is the wrong word, but this fuller, fleshier style. Uh, and I notice the oak imprint a little bit more here. And it's a, a oak just giving a, a, a creaminess um, and a touch of um, ever so slight smokiness, not over the top smokiness, not that uh, crude vanilla toastiness or anything like that, but just adding an extra layer to those already quite generous flavours. But then this uh, coolness of aroma uh, kicks in and um, I like that. Yeah, I toss up between uh, Sean Smith and that which I prefer. Probably... Oh, I don't know, I'd like to sit down and, uh, uh, if I had the capacity and the time, of course, and uh, do a, a lengthy comparison over the course of a bottle. Ah, uh, uh, Final one, uh, La Crema, Sonoma Coast Chardonnay, 2012, and as the previous two, 13.5% alcohol. Give this on a whirl. Now, this was the odd one out the first time round. This was the one that felt uh, the fuller, richer... Um, nuttier, woodier, riper, and um, yes, more of the style that was uh, that has been popular and is slowly slipping from fashion. Um, and and in, in terms of colour, it's the one that's more golden yellow uh, rather than the paler and um, I think more interesting uh, of the previous four. And flavour-wise, um, I mean, I, I didn't talk about what the smells of the fruit. The fr fruit on, on this is more in that pineapple chunk and uh, very ripe, slightly oily peach character. But here, when you come to taste it, it's that imprint of the wood that is noticeable. So it's that, that slightly smoky, over-the-top, um, no, not over-the-top, but 
it's that wood tanning that I notice coming through on the finish um, and I miss the freshness that's been in the uh, uh, in the previous wines I mean in terms of um, uh, of, of size it's probably the, the same as the uh, the Richard Chardonnay but the Richard Chardonnay um, has is more toned uh, here it's just a little bit looser and um, I like I like toned just like me really um, and um, so yes a nice set of wines and um, I think I think I'm gonna have to go away with the with the, uh, uh, the Sean Smith and the Richards and see what, really which I prefer I will report back see you soon